Before we begin, I just want to say join the Discord. That's all. Now, watch the video. Hello. Welcome to the fourth video in this little tutorial series that I'm doing. So, what's this tutorial going to be on? This is going to be on parameters. And I'm sure you've noticed when we write a function, we type these two parentheses. But you've also probably wondered, why? Why do we type those parentheses? Well, th what goes in there? Parameters go in there. So, like, let's say the transparency goes in there, and then maybe... Uh, brick color for like what, what do we want the color and then so what this would do when each time we call the function we would choose like transparency we would type what we want transparency to be the brick color we would type what we want the brick color to be and also I realized that instanced I misspelled that so just change that I messed that up I, you're supposed to spell it correctly but I didn't but anyways um, and then maybe we also want to have like we can change the parent of this part we could type parent in here and then we would choose instance dot parent instant part and that's this so the new part that we're creating dot parent and then we would choose what we want it to be so we want the parent to equal whatever we choose in the function that probably doesn't make much sense now but once we type it out it'll hopefully make more sense and this is a really confusing topic so if you don't get it this first time around, the more you use it, the more it'll make sense. So, dot brick color, and then we would change that to be equal to whatever we choose the parameter to be. Or actually, let's make this maybe anchored. So let's say instance part dot anchored, and then normally we would type false or true, but then each time we call the function, the part would always be that. What if we want to make like this part to be true, anchored? and this one to be not anchored. So instead of just anchored equals false or true, we would type anchored like this, and then tab or enter for autofill, and then also instanced part dot transparency equals, and then it would be equal to this. And these are basically variables that we change in the function. And then we, don't, we probably don't need this many, we can just have two. So new parts, so let's make it for the transparency, let's say 0 0.5 or 4. And then anchored, we would type. It actually tells you right here, it asking for, for transparency. It's asking for a number value, and we gave it 0 0.4 for that number value. And then for anchored value, it needs a Boolean, which if you don't know, is either true or it's also false. So let's make this part false. And then we need to add a parent. So we'll say game dot workspace and then for the second part that we want to create we gotta first of all choose a transparency let's just say zero it's fully you can fully see it and then for anchored let's say this one this one should be true and then maybe wh where do we want to parent this uh, it just makes more sense it's just a game dot workspace once again and so when we run it it'll create two parts and it'll have different properties for each part because that's the parameters that we gave it Yep, so as you can see here, we have one part that is that part, and it's anchored is set to false. So we can, as you saw right there, we moved it around, it moved, and then we parented it. It's in the game.workspace, so game is this entire explorer window, and then workspace, so that's that part. And then also, so it's easier to see, let's add another, um, another parameter in here, let's call it name. And then we would write uh, instanced part dot name equals name. So what this is doing is instance dot part or instance dot name will be equal to whatever we type down here. So like if we name this, um, uh, and it also tells you right here what type of value it needs a string value. So let's just type this one. Um, part one. Oh wait. And when you write a string, you need to put quotations and then part one. And then for the second one, let's just say part two. Not totally creative. You can choose whatever you want for that. And then let's click play. And yep, part one is right here. And the values that we set for it is the transparency, which is this value, 
is set to 0 0.4, so it is semi-transparent. The anchor is set to false, which means that we can move it, so we can run into it like that and see it fell off. The parent is game.workspace, so as you can see when we close this, it is a parent, or it's a child of it. And then we named it to part one, and that's why the name is part one. If we change this to like hot dog or burger, this would also be changed. And then we create a second part down here. That's the second part right there. And the transparency is set to zero, so it is fully opaque. We can see it. It is set to true. We cannot move it when we run over it. It just cannot move it. Um, the parent is game.workspace, so part two is parent workspace, and then we named it part two, and it is named part two. Now, there's many parameters you can do. You can do parameters for basically everything, and it's not just properties. You can do it for other things as well, but this is just a really simplified version of it. I know this is really confusing, and I didn't get it when I first learned it, but just play around with it, mess around with it, try making some stuff change like maybe instead of name brick color and all sorts of stuff and that's really all for this video join the discord server right now we need members um that's really all i have to say and subscribe um next video should be out tomorrow goodbye